Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chloe vs the World and today might be the episode that I've been most excited about. I think it is actually. I woke up this morning gassed to film because I have, some of you might know him as Chief Stew. Is it Chief Stew? Uh, of course. From Below Deck, but he is one of my best friends in the whole world. We've known each other for 12 years. <laughs> 12 years. It's Faisal! Hello! Big friend, hello, hello darling! Hello, darling! Thank you for coming, although Thank you so happy. much for having me. I know, it's been a journey, but we're here. You are here. Mm -hmm. How are you? How's things? Um, things are really good. Excellent. I am well. Good. Out of ten? Uh, solid nine. Oh, that's yeah. so high! Yeah, I feel like um, I've really taken into health, albeit <laughs> within booze and boozing, but working out... Yeah. And spinning. Oh, you're spinning. Um, you got anything to say about spinning? Love it. Can you say? You should all try. Yeah. About I'm, Soul Cycle. Yeah, I work for Soul Cycle. I work with. I'm ambassador of. Wow, can I be know. seeing you on line bikes everywhere? Yeah, I've actually got a shoot coming up, and I was like, do you know what I look like on a bike after 45 minutes of? Hell. Hideous. You but, have to get Botox in the face, and then you don't sweat out. Babe, if you spin, Botox goes in a week. Really? Well, yeah, you've got so much blood pumping through you. Anyway, <sighs> it's the least gym. of my concerns. Yeah. So you definitely exciting. gym. No, I don't. I just... You just exist. I just exist. I'm good for you, honey. You just shit everything out. Mm, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, <laughs> where do we start? Should we do Below Deck or How We Know? I think Below Deck and then we'll do How We Know Each Other. No, no How We Know. Way. Okay, let's People do like, How We Know. People like, what the hell? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> I know, chronological probably makes more sense. Right, phrase. Tell the general public, how so, on earth do we know each other? <laughs> <laughs> so, Clopas and I um, met 12 long years ago, <laughs> um, working um, in Mr. Villoise. Villoise, yeah. Um, for Jack Wills. We did work at Jack Wills. Um, there was a big crew of us. Yes. Um, but we were like the solid, there was about a solid four that made the car. I'd say six, seven, six. Who were the two extras? Me, you, mm. Em, mm. Nicole, mm -hmm. Scott. Yes. Ash, we could put in there. I think so. Ash, so that's six. That's fair enough, actually. A lot more, but they all faded in the background. I actually course. remember you on my, because you worked there before I did. Yeah. I remember you on my first shift. <laughs> and I was in the fitting room, and I was so nervous. I'd never like, had a, well, I worked in Chinese tech, that doesn't really count. But I remember you came in, you used to dress so smart. Yeah, I loved it. I would it. wear like skinny jeans, trainers, and like a really tight t-shirt, and you would come in in like three-piece suit. Lasers, yes. shirts, tweeds. Yeah, always tweeds. If it was socially acceptable for a what? 21 year old male yeah. to wear riding boots daily to work I would be in them I'm talking like jobbers and riding <laughs> no. boots yeah yeah you always had your brogues in the lunch you always used to clean them. <laughs> I have a problem as well what was your problem that oh yeah the brogues. cleaning things 24 7 do you oh you yeah. like cleaning in my bag with me and it's, it's becoming an issue I have all of my essentials but I have to, I can't live without them what are your me. essentials well obviously a shoehorn um, Where are you going? Fabric you need to softener, <laughs> um, uh, a lint roller, obviously, perfume, chewing gum. <laughs> yeah, just want to go back to fabric softener. Yeah. Where? What are you going to use it today at some point? Yeah. So if you're wearing something, thank God it's tight and it looks pressed, even though I'm sure it's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> if something was creased, I would get the ick conversation wouldn't flow. Oh, right. Well, I thought you meant like Lenore fabric softener. Is that oh, not... Well, in a tub? Yeah. No, 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 it's sprayed. Oh, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. And a shoehorn. Yeah, shoehorn. <laughs> but, but because I thought maybe I could go shopping, you know, this part of town can be quite, you know, eclectic and vintage-y. Mm -hmm. And then I got here and I thought, perhaps not. <laughs> um, but you never know. I'd write preparation and separation between winning and losing. What? Little, 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 preparation and separation between winning and losing. And guess who always wins? Yeah. That's right, you Chloe. You always win. You can let Brick Lane's not too far. That's edgy. Uh, I thought it was in Brixton. <laughs> well, Brick, it's in the what? It's in the name. Brick Lane. <laughs> Brick's what? Brick Lane's Brick not. Brick Lane is in Shoreditch by. Oh. Well, I thought that was. <laughs> No. Well, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Maybe next time. Do you think if we hadn't worked at Jack Wills that we would have crossed paths? <sighs> Good question. Um, go on, you yeah, why not? I'm not sure how, <laughs> but yeah, I would have been upset had we not. Oh, that 
that was really cute. Yeah, yeah. That was sweet. But yeah, we worked together. We worked together at Jack Wills. Um, how much then. work there was? I think we, I mean, I wasn't the best employee, but I wasn't the worst. I like being on tills. Yeah. You were a till supervisor. You a were a till, big dog. I know. But, but I, you only worked four hours on a Saturday. <laughs> well, like, originally it started with an actual like couple of days a week, right. maybe three. Yeah. <laughs> and then I brought it down to a half day on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, on a Friday. A month. Um, and then the, whatever his name was, was like, phrase, you are working half a day a month. Are yeah. you sure you want to keep the job? And I was like, absolutely. <laughs> like, we've got the we've got a whole clan here. We've got the gals. We're going out afterwards as well. In fact, can we finish early because I've got a headache? Yeah. Let's go out. Yeah. yeah. We were like, we were saying how other people, I don't really know people who have friendship groups from when they were younger, like working. I think that's quite unique. Oh. But then we were assessing our friendship group. Yeah. And I think there must be something in the water at Jackwells because we're all like, not cases. Totally insane. I don't understand but it. what an amazing, especially casting director, whoever hired us all. Casting director! Yeah, well, it could be something. <laughs> We were all insane. I know. I was just thinking about the nights out that we used to have. So Too much. Well. I remember with you. Oh no. And it was when I, I guess when you joined, I, I I was trying to be well behaved as the you know as the as the as the model I guess um, employee. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I remember hiding. Right. I'll think about this on the way over. Oh my god! I think I know what you're going to say. I remember hiding in the clothes rails and scaring customers as they were coming through yeah, filtering we did. through. Yeah. <laughs> no. You hid in the fitting room. Oh, that too. And you were like, send her to this no, one. So I was like, fitting room two, and you went, <laughs> yes. But the best was in the clothes wheel like this, like underneath it like this, and someone would filter through, and you'd be like, oh, no. or can I help? Is that not acceptable? I know, it's so Meanwhile, bad. Meanwhile, I do, I work in hospitality now. You, so it's a full... I know, but that's where you learn real skills, fun. isn't it? I think Back so. then. Or what I loved you used to do is when we used to be on denim and someone would ask you for a size and you would come mm -hmm. back with a hoodie. You'd oh, be like, okay. I brought you this in a night. And they'd be like, what? And you'd be like, we'd go to the staff room. And be like, I just forgot I picked it up on the rail. 100%. <laughs> I wasn't listening. No. Why would I? I carried that through to my next job at Hugo Boss and they would ask me for shoe sizes. And I was like, I'm on commission. Here, mate. I'm trying to sell you a three piece suit. Quite. So I'd come back and be like, but no, but I did get you this suit. Right, we, yeah, at, fuck Upsale. off to the shoes. Wait, at Bista? Yeah, I left at Wills and then How? I went to your boss. And then after that? Have you been there since, between now and then? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have actually. I've been doing weekends there recently. Oh, lovely. Yeah, have you not kept up with my life? I went on Love Island, I'm babe. joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you. If any two were going to be on TV, it was going to be us. Let's be but real. I never saw that coming. For you? Yeah. You were born to be on TV. Yeah, no but... one else in the world is like you. Thank God. <laughs> the world would be a very dark place. Um, but no, I'm so proud. I think you're great. And you haven't changed one bit. I don't know if that's you good still, or bad thing. I still keep you at an arm's length in, in an adorable manner. <laughs> With love. I do it with you as well. You're so posh. I'm where, not. Where are you born and bred? Um, I should know this. My own pedigree to start. Okay. Um, I was born in London, of course. Oh, you're London, But then grew darling. up in Oxford, so uh, it was a slight, you know. It's only down the road. Actually, no, I started at university at Jack Wills and Buckingham. Oh, my God. And mm. just, oh, my God, I've just remembered a oh. night out. You got me and Ashley to be promoters for, like, one of your uni nights. God, I was a user. And there was that too. DJ, Artful Dodger. Oh yeah. my gosh, yes. Do you remember that night? Yes, I do. And me and Ashley got too drunk, so we got kicked out, and you're outside and you're like, go home, you're embarrassing. Here's my house kids. <laughs> we were like, Fair enough, at least I gave you keys. Yeah, I'm at Artful, I was thinking, was it Artful Dodger? It was, but I, I feel like there was, didn't you hang out with the good old Artful? Yeah, we were. Is that his first name? <laughs> Last name, Dodge. <laughs> Um, did you not hang out with um, yeah, Madam Yeah, we were sat in VIP. Yes, I remember. And I was, I was like, not... this is this is not going to work. No. No, and me and Ashley, you probably can't put this in, we weren't old enough to be in the fucking club. No, of course club, you were You were 16 until about a few years ago, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, 28 next week. Week after. Happy birthday. Isn't your birthday this month? Yeah. Next. I'm 26 October, you're 29th. I'm 26 September. 26. Oh my God, are you 26 October? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I know, isn't it crazy? Happy are you a Libra then? No, I'm a Scorpio. Oh, gosh. I know. Are. What does that fucking mean? Though? I get that response. Means you're and rude. fair enough. <laughs> How would you describe yourself in three words? 
um, adorable, <laughs> um, hardworking, and um, oh, I don't know. This is, I love it. Um, petite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I've actually been working out loads. I can tell. I'm six weeking in the gym. Six weeking, six days of the weeking. What does that mean? I don't know. I basically tell everyone <laughs> I go to the gym six times a week and then I spin three. That's chaotic. Yeah, it's all. Well, what I've got are you training for? Life, darling. <laughs> um, marriage. Oh, is marriage not soon? on the cards yet? But Maybe we need not. to look for someone pretty soon. I'm thirty, and everyone's having kids around me. Not that I want them, but I'd mm. like to have someone. Who would you? I like to end up with like a nice Essex geezer. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not on the priority list. Not to say I'm against. What about like a London boy? Like a London boy? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm thinking more like Monegasque. That means someone from Monaco. I know, Charles Leclerc. He's not. Oh, 100%. Yeah. But he's like 17, isn't he? No, he's 23, 24. Okay. He's also just signed a £150 million deal. So Down. I'll be DMing him later. Have you DM'd him? No. Do you think he'd fucking reply to me? It'd be funny if he did. It'd be great. Actually, I'd um, now. <laughs> but yeah, someone from Monaco. Okay. Or the South of France, or Geneva. Yeah. Um, yep, same. Uh, I don't know. What, like, characteristics would you like them funny. to have? Funny. Funny is the best uh, one. Funny is good. Mm. And I really like big eyes. And I, I know that sounds weird, but I like big eyes. And do you know why? It's because I... Oh, the don't have of the eyes. Face. Well, that too. But uh, my eyes are barely existent. Like they don't. They, they don't. You have blue eyes. I can see them. They're in here. beautifully blue. Yeah. But they're tiny, tiny, tiny. And I look very Do you peculiar get, like, because an of eyelid it. Reduction. Well, I want to remove the eyelids completely and just have open eyes. Yeah. That would be terrifying. I don't think you'd get a mon monogasque. Monogasque. Montagasque. Monogasque. Monogasque. Husband, if you had no eyelids. Because I've heard they like them. <laughs> How niche. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm joking. Right. So, so, yeah, I want to find love, Chloe. Well, well it's, here we are. Well, here we are. It we're, happens every episode. People come oh. on here and then they just get in relationships. Yeah, Millie did. It's true. Have you found love? Have I? Fuck. I, no. No, I haven't. And I will actually tell you, I am obviously in therapy, because why not? Yeah, absolutely. And she told me that because I'd have, I had this really awful ex-boyfriend, she was like, you're the, like, had all these awful ex-boyfriends, which has in turn made you problematic as a person. So she was like, you need to heal before you enter someone else's That's space. That's beautiful. And that also makes sense. <laughs> no, no, not as in looking at you, but as it makes sense. <laughs> no, as in like, yeah, you hang around with, you know, toxic yeah. waste Bad for boys. so long. Yeah, but it makes you have their characteristics. Yeah. So, you know, normal people in an argument might be like, darling, sit down, you've annoyed me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd I'm be like, like, fuck you. Yeah, bit more aggressive. Yeah. Block, yeah. which is fine, it's normal. Well, I have high hopes for you, darling. Yeah, same. Do you think we'll get married next year? <laughs> well, I always had imagined, or I'd planned at the beginning of the year, that I want to be engaged by the end of the year, but we're God, fast approaching. Quite a big New Year's resolution. Yeah, I took engagement. five years off dating. Why? Um, because I wanted to focus. Really cringe, but wanted to actually like focus oh. on getting to know myself. Why? Oh. Yeah, apparently, it's great. Um, I would agree. And so going down that route now. Cute. Love that for you. Yeah. Oh, now engagement. Oh, so you've got three, two months. Two months. Three What's months. The month. September. Oh, also, fun fact. I'm certain that I was unwell the day at school when we learnt the months in order. So I still am not very good at that. Right, try it now. Well, I can't start September, I've got to start at the beginning of the year. Okay. Jan I can do it, oh, but right, I have but to you do have it that to way. Think about January, it. February, March, April, May, Juan. Yeah. In French. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just for trains. Oui. Oh! Um, oh, I've got to start the beginning now. Um, Oops. anyway, um, yeah. September, October. We could, on, October. November. We could work on the accent. December, um, yeah. That's where good. Where were we? Yeah. So anyway, we're in Engagement. September. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my birthday. Yeah. So yeah, four months. Three, but fair enough. <laughs> September's almost over. Good enough maths for me. Fair, 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 fair. Right, so we need each other Jack Wills. One and last kind story. Of, um, oh, were you God, there? Then. I don't know if it was you. I have so many stories. Someone went to the changing room 
and shit on the floor. No, but very close. May as well have. That happens, yeah, and when I was there, someone like well, someone I'm came surprised in and it was one of on us. It's probably Scott Lincoln probably. if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> Someone went in and they may as well shat on the floor or just totally decompose because the stench <laughs> in that cubicle, whatever you want to call it, yeah. when I left, yeah. was repugnant <laughs> on a new level. And I was like, I gagged. And so I grabbed the air freshener, mm. closed it, you know, mm. just two, popped it in. Someone was in there! No, no, no one was in oh. there. I, I wish that person had it been. <laughs> Sprayed the whole entire can. Guys, I, you mustn't have been here for this one. I can't leave. Um, fire alarm went off because obviously- And this village was evacuated. The whole evac that was me. I heard that, I did hear that was actually- I've There was like 10,000 people now. in the car 10, park. 10,000 in the car park. <laughs> and I was like, too fair, You were just there with the Febreze like, Fuck. I was like, kind of do want a SIG break anyway, so I this is real. I Yeah. Babe. That's funny. But please don't, I mean, that wasn't me, it was someone else. I mean, this mm. is Slip's camera. Mm -mm. Don't tell anyone. Mm. So that's good. But it wasn't intentional. No. So, anyways, we didn't obviously <coughs> carry on our careers at Jack Wills. No. Retail wasn't for me, that one. Neither. But you stayed in hospitality because you went on fucking below deck. Yeah. That's mad. How did you, how did that even happen? Well, I worked in, I was a model agent for many years in London. Um, and um, uh, was in a relationship. My partner at the time, his friend had invited us on a, on a super yacht. And so we went as guests on this beautiful vessel and had the most amazing week. But I found myself with the crew good 98% of that week in like total awe and fascination of their fascination with their job. And I was like, right. how can you be this happy in a job? I certainly right. wasn't this happy at Jack Wills. No, and I certainly not. am not in my current job. But they were just so happy. Yeah. And so like passionate. And I was like, do you know what? I want to Fuck do it. that. Yeah. I'm just going to try and do it. So I packed. So I, I told everyone I was going to do it. And they were like, you're having a mental breakdown. <laughs> and I was like, probably, but we're going to try it. Packed a bag. <laughs> And then went to South France and went moved into a hostel, which I thought was a motel, like a rough motel. It turns out it's way worse. And my room. It depends because some aren't that bad. I mean, I've never found anything. I've stayed in a hostel. Not in the South of France, a yachty hostel. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't have a door. As in, from the outside in. <laughs> so that was good. Good. So, so you went there. Yeah, went there, and then I um, printed out all these terrible CVs lied through my teeth about doing all this hospitality work <laughs> and then Doc walked up and down docks 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. That was really good of you. One till two, all, like every single day until I found one. That's really good of you. Like, who knew hideous. you had that in you? I, who I genuinely knew, you I know. But I was like, I have to do this. Yeah, you've committed now. And I've told everyone I'm going to do it. Yeah. And I'm going to do it not just well, but to the best of my ability. Oh. Mm. So then you're on a yacht, but mm. then how did you get on TV? Well, they kept, um, so the casting directors are brilliant and they found, they, they use Facebook and social media to find people in the industry. Right. And they like pestered me constantly and I was like, okay. I... But I knew that it was, it was career suicide and yachting if you do the show. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's, you can't work again. Oh. People just But don't. you work on the show. Yeah, of course, but you can't work. F you can't work after. Why? That. Because I guess like rich and famous people who own yachts don't want, want a mini leb or yeah. reality people, you right. know, serving them. First, I, mean, I know, but I get annoyed because I'm like, I'm actually I'm good so at my job. I love it, <laughs> and I will give. I will make sure your experience is like. But then they're like, no, I don't care. You love it. I right, what other jobs do you do on a yacht? Clean. Uh, I know it doesn't sound great. But, no, no, I'm asking. Well, so when I started, it was dark. I had to say yes to anything I could possibly get. Yeah. It was a crew member to the crew. What does that mean? It means I didn't even see guests. I just worked for the crew. <laughs> Good. So I was like, the, stock room. Very much so, <laughs> stock room. Um, so that humbled me uh, quite quickly <laughs> and then worked my way up. Oh, wow. Uh, I love it. It's when fun. did you first film Below Deck? Uh, did. It, three years after I started. Okay, so, three so you've years done ago. like quite a bit then. Yeah. Hello, yes. Dex. Yeah. I want all the gossip. Tell me everything I need to know. What's the juice? It's real. Is it like long hours? 
Pardon. Long hours filming. 19 like, hour days. Fuck that. Why are you doing Between that? 60 and 19, I don't know. <laughs> That's why I've got some sick sadistic twist on life where yeah. that I just enjoy that. Yeah. Um, and I go to bed in agony. I wake up in agony and I, I froth over it. Do you? Yeah, it's weird. You, but is it because like, of the crew? Uh, oh, no, I hate the crew. <laughs> and I hate the guests. And I hate <laughs> the boat. But I love the job. Um, it doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. I think I may have had some terrible boyfriends that have fucked me up. That well, way. welcome. Yeah. Welcome to my world and yeah. that one. What's. Um, you <laughs> that are. Was. That was good. I know. Speaking right. of good, can we get a top up round here? Yes, you can. Mm. Right, I want to know about the crew. I actually watched um, an episode the other day. It was like randomly on catch up because yeah. I do follow it. But um, there was an episode, and I thought it was so funny because it's so Fraser. I, there was like a girl and a boy kind of hitting it off, but then mm. you got in the hot tub and you were like, mm. no, no, do it, do it. And yeah. I was like, Fraser! They, um, they tried to make it about them for a second. They did! And I was like, not on my watch, kiddos! Um, so I got myself involved in something quite messy. But, um, yeah. But do you know what? Um, this straight man, you know that mm. uh, breed? Yeah. Um, they, Familiar with it. They... Oh, and it's Slimline. It is Slimline. Thank you. Um, they've got a thing for the old Fraser Bell. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they did. They always they have. They always have. They always have. Um, do you know what? There was a guy, uh, Jay Dubs, step, yeah. um, who I always wanted to... He was short, stocky. Bleep yep. No. <laughs> did Bleep you? Out. Did you? What? Get with... He's knocked in once, yeah. Uh, did fair. you? No, that was Liar. good. I, no, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, um. Do you remember that guy Fraser who joined? And I was like, get the fuck out. Why does that? Yeah, a guy with with a Z, cheap. <laughs> um, and I was like, get the fuck out. Is this embarrassing for you and for your family at this rate? Fraser, I can't, no, Fraser. Did he work Fridays? I work Saturdays. It's actually after I left, wasn't it? I don't know. It's embarrassing. Oh. Fuck him anyways, he's not on Below um, Deck, you he's are. He's not. Right, we've got people like, people who follow Below Deck are like cult members. They like are... you have a very good yeah. following. Yeah. And they want to know the ins and the outs. Okay. Okay, so what is it actually like? Can you tell us a whole day on the boat? Okay. A normal day on the boat, what you do? So you wake up crying or screaming. <laughs> um, and you have a shower, but when you land on your feet out of your bed, because you're in a bunk. Yeah, and do, do, is that actually where Yeah, it ricochets through your body, up your <laughs> spinal and nerve system, and then hits the back of your head. Good. And you're just reminded on what you've got for the rest of your day. Okay. Um, and then you just, I mean, you just, I mean, my days are planned out usually in advance, so yeah. I've got a nice little schedule of what I need to do. And now being chief, I've got people to do it for me, but I like to oversee everything. Right. Um, so whether we're doing a beach picnic, we've obviously still got the classic lunch, breakfast, sorry, breakfast, lunch and dinners, but whether we're doing a beach picnic or we're doing activities or whatever, mm. that's for me to very much be on top of. And then deck crew, who love to think that they're in charge of things, are not um, <laughs> and so I look after their schedules too oh. not their like exterior but like you know the the logistics of how we get things going on land if we're going to do excursions or the rest right. um, and then I just have to listen to people cry all day do you entertain it I can't imagine you're very empathetic I, weirdly I am no, you're not. You I, do it for TV. That's absolutely <laughs> not true. I genuinely feel for some people. What problems are there? What's the biggest problem you've dealt with on the boat in Below Deck? Uh, no, they don't. That's a problem. They don't have real problems. I mean, they might do outside of work, but you you know what you're signing up to. Right. Come to work, do the job. Yeah. And I don't care what's going on at home. Okay. Like, I, that sounds mean, but like, then don't take the job. Um, it's six weeks of hard work. So is the... I'm trying to work out, is the like, because I've done, I've dabbled in reality T TV. Have you? Yeah. A little bit. I've done um, The Apprentice and 24 Hours in Police Custody. And <laughs> um, what I find is, and I'm trying to work out for Below Deck because you, <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> because. How was that, by the way, in custody? I was good. Yeah. It's really um, character building. Yeah. It made me who I am today. Yeah. Um, so not. 
But because you're on the boat for six mm. weeks, you get yeah. any days off? No. No, so no. you're constantly filming every single mm. day. You get no breaks. Do you have hours. your phone on you? Yeah. You have your phone so you yeah. can message friends and family, whatever. But were you, you, you have good no luck time. finding time for that. Yeah. But then, like, is the camera crew, do they get in the way? Yeah. yeah. You, and you'll just, like, gal away. And they're yeah, like, they, they, you, you dance. Yeah. Um, and you sort of get, they, they, they figure you out and you figure them out and it's all fine. Um, but what's not fine is when I didn't get the dance in my early seasons, mm. you know, you'll do 12 uh, Cosmos or espresso martinis and someone will be in your way and you'll whip Drop past it. them and they will smash the tray. And I'm like, I can't even make this a storyline, <laughs> but this is taking me so long to do. And I've got people waiting. Yeah. So is the priority for you? Mm. I'm filming TV. I'm here to be TV or I'm here and I'm, the, I'm Mr. <clears throat> Boat. I do the yeah. job. It's my priority. <laughs> And so when like production or, you know, someone could be like, oh, but someone's crying. I'm like, yeah. oh, um, I'm like, I've got a job to do. And because, Chloe, like but this is- Surely this is... everyone is thinking there's a fucking TV show going on. Like I'm pretty sure 12 Cosmos on the floor is, is fine. No, they love it. Yeah. But then they can't show it because they're the ones who caused it. But- Ah, uh, okay. I do a job, uh, right? Which is my career. Yeah. Okay. That everyone watches every second of mm. so if i fuck up that's the whole world seeing me fuck up my career or look <laughs> shit at my job I so i can't allow for mistakes you can't go back to your thing you're now tv so why not be uh, a tv maestro i've not thought about that i'm a perfectionist as well you are a perfectionist so. you are so you i mean i'm just trying to imagine you doing it because for me you love drama like when we were at Jack, not not in a bad way, but I mean, when something was going on at work, me and you would always sneak off and like laugh about it. Oh, I love it. talking about it. Yeah, but I don't love being involved. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't mean that. Yeah, You're yeah, a spectator. Yeah. Massively. What's and the I am funniest thing you've spectated like on Below Deck? Well, I think usually it's just like it's it's the interpersonal like love triangles, uh, love quadrangles. What's the worst one? The hot tub one. All meant, yeah, well, to date, I think it was getting in between like a straight couple. Yeah. Even though it were all pally pally. Yeah. Um, Have you ever got with a guest? Would you? Do you know what? It's fundamentally in my uh, morals as a yachty that I do not get with guests and I do not allow for my crew to get with guests. It's an absolute no no. Oh. But if you drop off, which means not charter's on the yacht. finished. Yeah. Oh, charter's finished. They're no longer your guest. They're just a friend. Yeah. Acquaintance. Mm, if you will. Okay. So you'd entertain it and their pockets are so full. <laughs> and mine are so empty. <laughs> so what a not. beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I Listen, I'm here that for it. Good. I'm here for it. Right. Do you have, right, another question. Mm -hmm. If these people know the ins and the outs of your yachting life, do you have beef with Cap Sandy, Captain Sandy? Mm-hmm. Do you? Um, define beef. I just think, like, have you two got, you know, is it problematic relationship? No, we have um, a professional accept acceptance, of, sorry, we have a professional acceptance of each other's existence. Right, sounds healthy. Yeah, it's, work it's so healthy. In fact, I got a vent with her next week and I'm like, oh. Okay. And BravoCon with her on I the same panel. I know. Um, but no, we. Uh, we we weren't two peas. Would you peas go on a night out with no. us? No, no. <laughs> we were we're we're not two peas in a pod. Yeah. Um, but we're like edamame out of a pod. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Um, we're not the closest of friends. Fine. Um, but why do we need to be? Yeah. We well, worked could, together. Yeah. Did it go well? <laughs> Did it finish well? Yeah. <laughs> Um, are we bezies now? No. No, shame. Um, such a shame. Maybe if you do another season, you two could be friends. I don't know. Or just no. No, no not that one. Great. Mm. That's good. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened on a yacht? <laughs> on a yacht or that I've done on a yacht? Or th What's the question? You give me an answer. <laughs> on a yacht, around a yacht, yachting, yacht clubbing. Okay. Well, not. Well, I mean, all of what you've and I have done and worse. <laughs> oh, is it worse? Yeah. Are you kidding? Because you live with each other. So you it's live. Fit. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. also, you work. You've worked so hard for so many hours and weeks. Yeah. And when you have a drink, you let loose. Do you? Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah. So I mean, all of what we've done and far worse. It's dark. Is there anything you disclose? I mean. 
it's nothing, I guess nothing out. I mean, I'm quite vanilla, really. No, but as in, like, I'm not, <laughs> like, I don't do anything too exciting, do I? I mean, is that what we're doing? Fine. Um, I mean, maybe one time you've, like, stumbled because you're a bit drunk. Stumbled? Yeah. Um, what, I had to stop drinking for six months because I <laughs> thought I was having, you know, we were having a great time. Dock parties are a massive thing. Right, okay. So we're having dock party, no guests on board. And I waltzed up the passerelle, which is the bridge that takes you from the dock to the boat. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and I got to the top and I was like, oh, thank God I'm here. <laughs> And that's when I decided to pass out <laughs> and fell off the passerelle um, back onto my head. And was I concussed? 100%. But was I out for work at 8am the next morning leading a team? Yes. <laughs> Do I have a scar still? Yep. I would give the employee of the month Thank you. for that. That I is turned well up. Out. Yeah. That is and I was well drunk out. for the next two days, possibly. It was and all concussed. Mm. One or the other. One or the other. One or the other. Hand in hand, I say. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Right, phrase. What I thought would be fun, because I think when people watch this, they get, it's like a culture clash, isn't it? We're from the same area, but we're not. We're, yeah, we're, we're from, yeah. Like, we're people are going to wonder what we have in common. Mm. But we have There's loads so in much in common. I know, Memories I know. mainly. Memories. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? We're also cheeky. <laughs> and I think that happens a lot, yeah. So, a lot of people get on to me because... They're like, oh, you're from Bicester and you use all this slang. Little did they know, lived in London for years. Mm. My boyfriend was a nice boy. So I picked up a lot of slang and I think you would benefit in this day and age, okay. TikTok, social media era, to yeah. be, you know, relatable and down with the kids. I would like to be. If you learnt some slang. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a word and you have to tell me what it means. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Right. First one, cap. Button. If someone's capping. Cap. Um, obviously not wearing a hat. <laughs> Do you remember me in a hat, by the way? I can't oh, wear a hat. I, I can't wear a hat. <laughs> okay, so another thing quickly, when stews are down, yeah. I'm talking like down, like really dark, and they're like, they can't, they can't, they're, they're so upset and just devastated with life on a boat in a season. I to bring people up, this is how bad it is, went to go put on a cap <laughs> or a swimming hat to make them come back to life. Because I don't, that's how bad it looks for me. People don't believe it. No, And I'll I never know. wear one. But anyway, uh, cap, it's not a pill, is it? A pill? No, like if I say you're capping. Capping. You're capping. Oh, looking great <laughs> in the hat. I don't know. Cap. Cap captured. Oh, cap. Oh, you. No, I don't know. Okay, it means you're lying. Why? So if I, I don't know. I don't. Slang doesn't have to have. Cap. You know. So what did you say? Your cap. You're capping. Oh, capping. So if you said to me, oh, "I just killed a bear this morning," I'd be like, "That's oh. cap. You're capping." Oh, so That's that can like, be capped. Yeah, that cap. Yeah, that yeah. cap. Ha capped cap. from the truth, like cap <laughs> cut. I get it. Okay. It's smart. I think that's where it the came from. The streets have great minds. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one, mm. Riz. Pardon? Riz. Rizzler. You've, you've got Riz. No, not Rizzler. Uh, Riz. Fa fantastic chat. <laughs> yes! No! Yes! Yeah, you've got good chat. Charisma, I think. I oh, heard it come. smart. Riz. Right, next one. Mm. Get the strap. On? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Don't get, get the that strap later. Oh, grab your bag, darling. <laughs> <laughs> grab what is it? Grab gun. The... Get get a gun. Get the strap. A strap is a gun. Oh, you used to wear those holders. I no, I mean, listen, we're not looking at where they come from. Okay. This is what they are. So get the strap. But do we have guns available in the UK? Um, not <laughs> legally. I don't think you can have. But they, you know. they're found. They, people have guns, yeah. Shit. Have you, ever here. Watched, have you ever watched Top Boy? Mm -mm. Watch it, be an education. It's on Netflix. I've got it's, that. Okay. Rolling in it. Right. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Next one, Batty. Oh me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. No, no, I don't get it a lot, but like, batty boy. No! Oh my god, no, I no. Really... Batty means bum, like she's got a big batty. Oh, what's a batty boy? Oh, someone takes out the bum. 
Um, Bassy, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> if um, a drug dealer came up to you and said, where's the food? You stole the food. What's that? We're talking about his drug shortly. Yes, that was a good well, one. that's not hard. No. Don't give me context. I'm quite okay, smart sorry, when it comes sorry. to that kind of thing. Right. Um, I don't think of one. Marga, Margs. Margarita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, can, I, can I have a sentence, please? Yeah. You're really margs. Oh, thank you. I think it means skinny, um, or does it mean really big? I've just forgotten. You're margs. Well, pick one, because they're very different. Well, I think I just thought of it, and then I was like, hang on, does it mean you're really big from the gym or you're really thin? Well, it depends what marg, because a skinny marg and then a marg. Yeah, margarita, yeah. Always. Right. <laughs> Right, um, <clears throat> swole. Swollen. Fat. <laughs> no, well, kind of. I mean, like muscular, built. Oh. Like you're swole from the gym. I you're swole from had cycling. That. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think of some other. It's not. I've not heard. Have you heard these? Yeah, I have. Heard some, probably nine out of ten of them. Swole. Oh, you're Leng. Do you know what Leng is? Long? You're Leng. You're Leng. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leng, like <laughs> you're Leng. Lovely. Yeah, kind of. You're fit. Oh, I like oh that. I'm trying to think of it. Clapped. The clap. <laughs> like you've got chlamydia. You're clapped. Did you're you... clapped. No, well, I wouldn't say it to you. Clapped. Is it clapped or clap? Clapped. Clapped. Clap. From clap and junction. <laughs> Right? It means you're ugly. How dare you? No, I didn't say you're oh, clapped. I'm um, saying that's how clapped. you say it. it that, well, would you say that to someone, Chloe? I'll say that, yeah. That, like, if I don't like someone, I'm like, oh, that's clapped. Oh, the, the situation is ugly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, or like if you don't like food, blah, oh, that was clapped. Oh, that was clapped. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I'll use it. Right, if someone said to you, it's a sticky one still. Is this who? <laughs> is this sticky or sticky? It's a sticky one still. It's a sticky one still. And not in reference to food or excrement. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, the sticky situation that one. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I could I could hang around these ends <laughs> with a Z. Sticky. <laughs> and what about Glizzy? Glizzy. Glizzy. Mmm. Can I have a sentence, please? Um, where's the glizzy? Someone called, like, Glizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, glizzy's a gun. But you know what? Great name. I glizzy's a gun. I don't know what glizzy is. Yeah, like, where's the glizzy? I swear kids use that. Glizzy? Yeah. I'm trying to think. Glizzy. Right, what other ones? This is really fun. Can anyone think of any more? Bunda. I know what that is. What? Bunda. Bunda. Bunda is, is the bottom as well. It's the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I've heard she's got a bunda. Yeah, still. still. And still I'm confused about, because still is like... I don't it's... get still. I wouldn't and say still. And it's still, still, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah, still. still. I'm having a bad day. Fat bunda, day. still. <laughs> <laughs> Turn... Honestly, I'm a comedian. I could really... I love it. Yeah, me too. With Emmy Googling stuff. This is really, I'm getting so much entertainment out of this. It's really I've not fun. heard any of these. <laughs> <laughs> About the margarita. It is a nice name. <coughs> Can I have um, some powder just in case? Oh, easy, you. Fuck you. Um, Lau I it. know what that is. What well, is actually, it? no, I'd like to talk about this one because I'm <laughs> very upset about it. Low it. Low it. First of Low all, it. <laughs> first of all, what you're trying to say is allow it, I'm assuming. Oh, oh, isn't it leave it? Oh, it's the opposite of what I thought it was. Yeah, it, it, oh my gosh. Allow it doesn't mean allow it, like let it happen. Allow it means like don't. Oh, I thought it was that. No, 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 no. Is it don't? Oh. Louder, say. Lau who? Louder. Louder. Yeah, no, like, you don't no like one says something... dat, <laughs> do they, really? They all teenage it. <laughs> no. no one's ever said dat. No. I think they used to, like, louder. 
Yeah. Louder. Louder. <laughs> was it nitty? Like it, like knitwear. <laughs> like cashmere or similar. Yeah, pass me my nitty. Close up. <laughs> nitty, nitty gritty. Nitty. Pass me the grit on a construction site. Perhaps. I don't know. Nitty. Ah. Uh, <gasps> it's a crackhead. Like a nitty on the street. You nitty. Oh, so, yeah. Well, it's not adorable, but it's yeah. endearing for yeah. them. It's better than crackhead, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Mercedes. <laughs> or merchandise. Or like stab. You got merch. No, because I can't talk about that. Honestly, that's my biggest fear. What? Mercedes. <laughs> First of all, that. Bentley only, please, um, No, but honestly, being mugged is my biggest fear. It's up there. I was walking on the street. Okay, because you've got a big watch on you. Either. No, but I don't wear it. Mm. Oh, that, that, that's not even a good one. Okay. I didn't... <laughs> it is. Um, <laughs> I was... I was mere waltzing along mere the... Waltzing. You know, the... How do you say... Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I was having a walk. I wasn't even... I was on my way home, for fuck's sake. Yeah. On the path you know yeah meanwhile i when i walk out and about i don't have noise cancelling on because i'm aware <laughs> and i'm streetwise as they would say now that i've got the lingo i'm gonna be fucking a hell of a lot better louder well. all of that stuff <laughs> nitty um <laughs> anyway so i'm walking, minding my own goddamn business. Meanwhile, I hear a motor and I think, well, that's normal, it's a road. But my peripheries pick up on some light where it shouldn't be. The path behind me, two men, right? On a bike, zooming towards me on the pavement. So me being wise and wonderful, I threw myself back onto the wall. I've done it before. <laughs> And they dodged me and they couldn't come any further because they would have hit the bus stop. Right. Which I was hoping for, but it didn't happen. They swerved back onto the street. Yeah. Went in the street, came back towards me. So they wanted to walk. They wanted way more than that because I looked stunning that <laughs> night. But they got none of it because Good. that's not how you get what you want. No. But it is in London. Yeah. Apparently. I mean, what is that, really? That's just being streetwise. It is, but it's like, why is this... It was in Hampstead. It's a nice area. That's probably <laughs> why they're there. Save it for their ends with a Z. <laughs> Not mine. Right, we're going to play Stop the Waffle, OK? And what the hell is that? I'll tell you. OK, sorry. <laughs> no guess. Stop the faff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. I'm good. Right, we're going to either, so on your card, you have a lie that someone's made up for you, or you can tell a true story. Do you I look to, at it? Yeah, you can look at it. Okay. You either tell a story that I might not know, or tell the lie, and we have to guess if it's true or false for either of us. Okay. Do you want to go first, or should I go first? Do you go first. Right, so I don't know if you know, but I went to the NTA the other day. That's the National Television I saw. Awards, Be I, you looked beautiful, by the way. I was on the Daily Mail worst dressed list. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, that was good, isn't it? Well, uh, there's there's three opinions. There's yours and the truth. What's the truth? And the truth is what they published, darling. <laughs> I'm joking. I direct messaged you and said you look stunning. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, anyways, and um, when I was doing the red carpet, like, it was split into three bits, so when you get there, you kind of do, like, social media bits, then you do interviews, and then you do, like, the actual red carpet, which is actually really small, and then, oh, then you actually do, like, the big board, right, it says NTA behind it. Yep. Anyways, so me and Millie were on it, and we were walking down, and then we got pulled over by the OK Mag, and they started speaking to us, and they thought that me and Millie, well, me or Millie, was Molly May. So they were asking us about this upcoming fight, so we were like, yeah, yeah, we kind of thought, should we know about a fight? It's obviously poor form if we don't know what they're talking about. So they were like, are you really excited for the fight next month? Like, you know, are you backing him? And we were like, yeah, yeah, like, he's going to win, he's going to win. And then they said, how's Bambi no. looking at me? And I was like, yeah, Bambi's great. And I was thinking, should I know who Bambi is? And then she was like, how are you coping? Obviously, Tommy's in camp. 
This is too much. And instead of me correcting her, you went with it. I was like, yeah, good. You know, I'm just holding out. She's at home with um, my mom at the moment. You actually said that? Yeah. You actually went along with it? I, I'm a compulsive what? liar. You should know that about me. Attention, I thought I might get, you know, in front uh, of Vogue. Uh, okay, okay. Molly May exclusive. I'm going to say that that's a blasphemous lie. Why? Because I think, first of all, I've been following your whole trajectory, your whole career, you. and you're very well known. <laughs> Walking here, you were stopped on the street by some blessed dear child. So they know better. Their job <laughs> is to know better. Lies, lies, compulsive, malicious it's lies. It's the truth! Ooh. Gotcha, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty bitch. Okay. <laughs> Well said, right, well though. done. Good point. Okay, so this is great, actually. Great, right, you'll go. Great. <laughs> I was on a charter once, Ooh. and I was recognised, and this is why it's also a problem, because I shouldn't be recognised as I'm on a charter. I'm on a charter, and I am this working... This can't be true, because I thought you can't yacht if people know who you are. No, I have done, but that's why it's difficult for me now, after doing so many seasons. It's not legal. <laughs> but like now that I, people know who I am, yeah. it's difficult. Okay. But this is just after my first season, I so find. I was fine. Yeah. And um, I was just running my charter. Anyway, they recognised me as soon as I went on, and they were like, oh my God, just say we're so excited for this trip. Like, I know you've done the show, we watched the show, we loved it, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. I'm just so excited to make this experience yours. Yeah. And anyway, um, we're getting through it, and I overhear a conversation at the table, and they're talking about Love Island. And obviously, I've known you for too long. <laughs> and obviously, I was like, oh, by the way, um, Chloe Burrows is like one of my close friends. You would never fucking do that. You are not a name dropper. You never name drop. No, but they were talking about the season. Oh, and right. that was the season you just done. That when was, was years that? ago. Three years ago? No. Four? You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was, it, no. Two years ago. Pardon? Two years ago. So it was two <laughs> years ago. It was a year and a half ago. Oh, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they then said to me, Wait, are you serious? I'm like, she's my sister. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> gotcha, bitch. That was Fraser, good. I should probably know more. You do not name drop and I know you don't. Because you don't think it's cool. <sighs> I don't. You would never do that. No, but if someone was talking about Chloe Barana, I'd be like, I know her. That's okay. a great flex and a name drop. Barana. Well, it's better than Burroughs. I'm joking. What did I call you? <laughs> Fraser. Fraser with a Z, maybe. I was taken by that man at Jack Wills, <laughs> who's probably not doing much in his life now. Let's be Oh, God, honest. you can't say things like that, Fraser. Why not? He might be Prime Minister. With a Z? Year. I don't make the rules of Prime. Right, I got you. Oh, but you got <clears throat> me, so it's one all. Bring on the next game. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> right, best friend game. Question one, what was my first impression of you? Can you swear on these things? Yes. What, what, uh, no, Fraser. <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh, no, but now I might as... I'm oh, sorry. Are you writing the C word? You yes. should. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Posh is fine. No, it's you horrible. Well, right, you do your oh, one. Fab. <laughs> Best friend. Oh, God. Um... What was my... Was the same as yours? Okay. Okay, what want... was my first impression of you? I know the answer. Three, two, one. Chav. Ruff. Ruff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You are actually divine. But it does work and you get a point, Clay. <laughs> I'm going to get a point for that one. That was close. Right. Ooh. How old was I when I lost my virginity? He's going to write like 12 or something because he thinks he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Doc. Um, how old were you when you lost your virginitoire? Virginitoire. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. I'm looking at you now. I'm thinking it's younger than I thought. Mm. I'm joking. Um, let's do something <laughs> acceptable by law. That's what I've gone for. Did you want? 16. Mm. That's illegal. Not... I would never do that. I was 16. Day after my birthday. Really? Didn't wait, did you? 
Right. What season of Maiden Chelsea was I on? Oh, do you even know that? I think so. Oh my god, I forgot you were fucking on that. Me too. Shit. <laughs> Genuinely, did you? I did too. I just randomly, because I watched Made in Chelsea and then I just saw you in a scene. I called Nicole like, fucking phrases on Made in Chelsea. <sighs> what have I not done? I'm joking. <laughs> that is dark. You should do Celebs Go Dating next year. You'd be so funny. Well, Mark Barnes is on your series. You know Mark? Yeah, I don't know him. I saw him in Sandra Pay once. That's fun. I ignored him. That's where I run into all my brands. Ready? So, one. Pretty one. The one with Lucy Watson. So everyone, <laughs> um, 11, I think, was it 11? Oh, well, oh, you get that. Don't I know my own life? Well done, Franz. <laughs> okay, go. Right. Who was my first podcast guest? Oh, my God. He said he follows my trajectory, but how close does he follow it? You decide. You don't know anyone on that board. So I please. really don't. <laughs> no, I love... Do you know what I do? No, I know loads of them. Also, Who do you I know? Follow. Oh, Lottie Moss. Do you know Lottie Moss? I don't know personally. Oh, I thought you had. Yep, love her. Um, am I allowed to look at this? Babe, this is such a good wall, by the way. Oh, like, you have you. had the best. It's going to be tarnished by my little mug, but it's great. <laughs> I don't fucking know who the first one was. Guess. Okay. It's a wild guess. Three, two, one. I think that's her name. Big Mills. Millie! Yeah! Well done! Well done. Also, stunning calligraphy phrase. <laughs> wow. There's an option. Right. Well, we could answer this straight away. Do you know what, what would I be doing if I hadn't been on Below Deck? Calligraphy. <laughs> what would I be doing if I hadn't been on Below Deck? Right, just write something funny then. If I'm you trying to think of something. I, I, I can't think of it either. Right, we'll write a job. Do you know what a job is? Not really. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, fantastic phrase. This is great. Do you know what you should do as a YouTube series? Just strap a GoPro on and go about your day. I'd love no, it's to horrible. My days are really rough. I, d I don't like them. <laughs> Honestly, they're terrifying. Is everything you Babe, get home? I took a bus. Well, we'll talk about that afterwards. Are um, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Live, love, a hotel manager. <laughs> Fraser, you would be doing fuck all, absolutely nothing, live, love, laughing. I didn't want to write that, I thought that sounded really pretentious and awful. But it's the truth. It's what I do now. I know, you didn't. <laughs> well, I'm taking the point for that. But doesn't that show that I've got drive? If it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm brilliant. Honestly, I'm so, so grateful for myself. Right, welcome to round three, the final and last round, but guess what, it's double points, so you're currently winning 3-2, but if I beat you, then I fucking beat you, bitch. Good luck, darling. It's called Say It To My Face. How dare you. Players take it in turns to throw insults at each other. At all times, you have to give a straight face. <laughs> the first person to Hold laugh on. loses. Hold on, is a slight smile a straight face? Yeah, like if you laugh, you're out, and also don't reveal any really personal details. But we're just throwing, we're just hauling insults at each other. Yeah. <sighs> I can't. Okay, so do you want to start? And also, don't be mean, because I'll leave here very upset. <laughs> this. We're literally <laughs> going out after this, though. I mean, how rude could they? Right. I don't know where. Decrepit little wench. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lost that one. Two points for Fraser Bear. Thank you. <laughs> I won! I'm crying! What the fuck? Well, it's what I thought when I saw you. What do you want? Fraser! I mean, yeah, you win, that's fine. Thank you. Wait, do we get another go? No, do you want to go again? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Not very nice, was it? Did you feel good after that? Yeah, I feel so much better. Well, that's now. all that matters. You pretend that you're from London, but really you're from Bolton. Bolton? <laughs> Where is that? Oh, the Boltons. What's the Boltons? Bo <laughs> Boltons is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> is it my go yet? Yeah, come in. <laughs> it's 
Stop! Oh my god! Do you know what's funny? If you say something really offensive, I can beat you up. No, I, that's the problem. That's why I'm a bit worried about what I can say. So if I say something you don't understand, like you lascivious slut, you'll understand the slut pass, but not sl sl lascivious. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you going to be Lucifer? No, is lascivious is like... Harry Potter house. No, I'm joking. Similar. I know what that is. No. Um, well, you're a naughty girl, Chloe. Mm. And you're a very naughty boy. <laughs> I'm really not. Vanilla as hell. Listen, we've you had our fun. It. Yeah, you did win. Also, I'm dark in bed. Yeah, we can all Do we all know tell. that? Posh boys always are. Yeah. Have you got a fetish? No, but I do. Lies. Do it's you want me to tell everyone your fetish? It, you, you don't know my fetish. I do. Do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to be milked. Mm. <laughs> what am I? First of all, a cow. Me <laughs> <laughs> Um No, I just like a bit of, you know, take control. You take control. No, then. Yeah, no, I bet. Tie the shit up out of it. Choke. I knew it would be like yeah. BDSM vibes. It's weird, isn't it? I'm just so... I'm such a petal. A, a beaten and bruised petal at that. Oh, no. That's sad. Right, anyways, I lost because you cleaned up Yay! in that round. So that means you get to spend the Wheel of Forfeits for me to have to do something horrible. You know. Mm. A truth. Oh, you can ask me a question, I'll tell the truth. I know everything about you. Exactly. Um, do you genuinely watch my seasons of Below Deck? I have seen that. I've seen the first two. Lies. First one. Well, me and Nicole watched the first one. Well, the question the is, one. do you watch my seasons? Okay, watch the first one. I haven't watched the second one. Well, Bitch, I've been at work. Right, well, I won't be watching this episode then. Have you watched Celebrity Go Dating? Yes, I have. Yes, I have, and I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> well done. Also, the drama. Oh, the drama's TV. No, darling. but seriously. But you that's what I was asking you. Oh, wait, let me do the end. Right, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed That was my favourite episode I've done, actually. Stop! I, I know, I always say it, but they get better. Yeah, but hold on, wait, really how many not. times have you said that? Twice. I say it with Millie, obviously got my first one in there. Well, she lives with you, she has you know, got to hear it. Yeah, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope that you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow Fraser on Instagram. What's it, Fraser Olenda? Yes. That's the thing. Instagram, check him out on TikTok. His TikTok lives are fucking hilarious. They're awful. They're really good. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're listening, then give us five stars. And I'll see you next week. Woo!